hey everybody welcome back to my channel today is may the 10th we are going to do a quick garden update greenhouse update potato update let y'all know what's going on in the garden how everything is coming along everything is very beautiful excuse the barking dogs i have on a mic today so if that's extremely loud i do apologize um this is my first time using this mic so we'll see what the volume looks like when i um play it back but let's get into this quick update and I have a lot of pruning to do. I have some spacing out to do, but y'all will see that in just a second. All right, we are gonna start over here by the greenhouse. So these are balloon flowers that reseeded from last year. I just put them in a smaller pot or in a pot. They were in a hanging pot, but I want them to stay on my planting table as my flowers. This um, Dahlia I bought from Walmart. I bought it as a gift for somebody, but then I found something else to get them, so I just kept it. Here are my um, borage plants, which are right in front of the greenhouse. I am going to move those out into the yard now that they are big and established. And then this is the greenhouse. I don't have a lot in here. I have my herbs, some stuff that I need to plant out, and it's just housing some of those things. I have purple sage, lavender, and eucalyptus that will stay in here. They, they like it in here, so that's where they will stay. And I have some herbs that I purchased because my herbs did not germinate well. All right. And a quick little view. All right, so let's talk about what's out here. So here is my Roma tomato slicer tomato another aroma i'm sorry no this is not aroma this is a um it's a 100 sweet cherry i believe and that is another aroma these are two agastache plants that i found at a local nursery that is pineapple mint my strawberries I do not like it right here. I don't know why just yet. We'll find another spot for them. This is my daughter's grow bed that I have to um, come in and clean up. I am going to prune um, her snapdragons and I'm going to take out these two calendula. These started off as little baby seedlings. And now you see they are huge. So I'm going to take those out, clean this up. And prune those back so that she can actually have a room those are two salvia that i purchased my green stalks are doing great i'll show y'all the peas in a minute this is milkweed and so this weekend, I am going to space all of this out so it's not so crowded up here on the slab. But since my yard is like 25 feet by 25 feet, this is where everything initially gets um, planted. So these planters over here have calendula, mandevilla, agastache, bee balm, and marigolds. Lavender, Creeping Jenny, and Petunia. Here is another borage. Here. Some sweet potato vines. Or slips. Um, this is the what the borage flower looks like before it blooms. That's Bruno. And here is one of my borage plants that have bloomed. And this is a smaller one that I bought from a um, garden expo. But as you can see, the difference, I don't know if this is a different type of borage, but the one that I grew from seed is huge in comparison. And it's going to be a gigantic bush. Here is my fox glove that is putting on new growth.
we measured it last week and it was last week it was at 36 inches and then i have calendula bee balm mandevilla and the mandevilla will grow up and then this foxglove will be right in front so this will have some vertical interest right here this is the other borage now you see how this one is getting tall and skinny and there are the flowers again here's the green stalks so these green stalks have bell peppers um borage and i'm sorry not borage bell peppers um nasturtiums and marigolds and then this one has hot peppers nasturtiums marigolds petunias oh this one has a couple of petunias at the bottom and we'll go this way this is some cabbage that i planted just to hang for decoration and this one i have to come in and clean up so this one i'll let go to seed because if you let it go to seed it will attract um ladybugs supposedly and i'll give y'all a better view in just a second so this is my ptp and i have a lot of these sticks that i'm going to put in here so that they can grow up And then any empty spots that I have here, I won't be putting more peppers, but I will be putting more nasturtiums. And then I have the cabbage, another lettuce. We'll go over here to the potatoes. So these are almost at 100 days, and they are starting to die back. The ones that I put in the pot are dying back. So this weekend, I am going to dump these two and see what's going on in there look at how huge look at how huge this nasturtium is look at that one. absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and these are my sunflowers that i grew from seed but they are not looking happy anymore so if anybody knows why my petals are falling off please share your knowledge because i am very sad why why sunflower must you leave me they were doing it beautiful just like this one but now they're not and i don't know if i did not give it enough water but if i didn't that's sad <laughs> excuse my dog he's taking a poop all right so in this bed we have uh, marigolds and nasturtiums going around uh, completely around the border and then we have kale lettuce broccoli now this broccoli is a spare brock and i am going to um i might come back out and try to harvest this real quick it grows very 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 quickly so you can if you get a spare brock um you will be able to harvest about every two days and I have three of the plants and just to give y'all an idea the broccoli plants are probably about two feet tall and they are doing really good and this is one of my lettuce that I've been harvesting from All right, and then here are my cabbage. So I have two Copenhagens. They are starting to turn in. Here is my zucchini. And I have a few female zucchini under here. I think I see five. Um but nothing to harvest just yet. So here is a look at the bed.
My nasturtiums are starting to produce flowers. There's some calendula that I took out of my daughter's little bed and planted over here because they are huge and taken over. And then in this bed, I have corn going across the back. Look how huge this marigold is. That's probably about 18 inches tall. And it's next to calendula, which I have to stake them because they were getting windy and I'm not sure why. And these nasturtiums look wonderful. They look absolutely wonderful. Corn is looking great. And then I have some sunflowers here across the back. Start coming up. And I have some amaranth that is getting covered up because everything is getting tall. And I have some more corn to pop in that will be a different type of corn and a little bit um, younger than these. And just to give like a little bit of an overview of the size of my yard, it's not huge. But I try to be very strategic with where I put things. I have to do some yard cleanup. But that's not going to happen today. All right, and that was just a quick garden update. In a matter of two to three weeks since my last video, everything is booming. Like, as you can see, I've been able to harvest um, broccoli almost every day. And the lettuce and soon i will be checking out the potatoes the zucchini should be next and my peas cabbage and corn and everything are everything is doing good and looking healthy i am starting to have pest pressure but it's not too bad that i can't control it um some of my bell peppers even have a little peppers on them so Everything is looking good, but what I need to do is declutter this area so that pest pressure does not just hop from plant to plant and start to take over. Oh, and my tomatoes are starting to make tomatoes. So I do have a couple coming. I think I have one here and here. I'll just shake them a little bit to get them going. And I have one here. That one already looks a little strange, so we don't know what's going to come of that one. I think that might be it for that one. Thank you for watching my channel today, which is a quick update, just so that everybody can see just how quickly things grow. Two weeks ago, I could see most of the slab. Two weeks ago, I can see most of the soil in my garden. And my potato bed is doing so good. I really hope there's some potatoes under that dirt. I did not get any flowers, though. I did not get any flowers like my research said that i would um, but after doing further research um, there was a guy in texas who said that he never gets flowers on his red northern potatoes and he always gets a good harvest so i was like oh, okay well i followed my directions and i did what i thought was right so we're gonna see we are gonna see what will this potato bed give me we shall see after i pull those out i will be putting sweet potatoes slips in um, and keep them in there throughout the summer. So that was just a quick update. Thank you all for watching my channel. I appreciate it. Um, hit the like and subscribe button if you like this video. And I will see you next time. Thank you.